YouTube. <laughs> Intro done. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Seizure. Uh, so we are at the Millennium Biltmore. Millennium Biltmore. Millennium Biltmore. Millennium Biltmore. Millennium Biltmore. Millennium Biltmore. Miranda Biltmore. Yo. Millennium Biltmore. At this moment, say hi. Hi. This is our crew, con crew, for AX 2016. You I went there winked. and I didn't mean to. <laughs> and this. We are currently waiting for the rest of our group so that we can check in, so that we can get our badges, because today is day zero. Yes. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. Fun times. Fun times at the Millennium Biltmore. Hey guys, it is day one, and this is the first time I've been able to vlog. Thus far, we have been late, woken up, woken up, woken up late. Um, and we just did the K Project meeting at a photo shoot, which pictures here. Uh, right now, we are going to be getting lunch. And then we will hopefully. Go to a pet or something. I don't know, whatever you do at cons. Um, probably Artist Alley. So that's a heads up. And I hope that we can vlog later. I probably am. There's some pretty cool stuff. There, Corbin. Hi. Hi. They're the cutest thing in the universe. There we go. And there's the jerk. The, the traitor. traitor. The worst. <laughs> I will update you all later. Goodbye. So I am here, uh, finally got a chance to sit down, we're looking for lunch. Uh, we actually got a table, what? Our friend went off and is trying to meet Kiki Kabuki. I wish I could go, but I am guarding the L luggage. So I am here and doing things. Good chance to breathe, my binder's killing me. We're good. I'm covered in sweat. I'm pretty sure all my makeup's already sweated off, but it's fine. We're good. That such is con. And it's been really fun. So we met up with Corbin. We had a lot of fun. It was great. It was great. I don't know what we're gonna do next. Pro tip: eat during cons, please. Day two of. AX 2016. This is the first time I've had an opportunity to vlog. All morning we were doing things like putting on these. We met the sweetest ones. They were so cute and covered in blood and lovely. And there were a Jean and a Marco and I got a lovely sticker. It, it's, it's in my bag. Oh, but it's so cute. I'll insert a picture. Boom. Isn't it the cutest? Ah, look at it. Ah. And the Marco and Jean that gave it to me are the cutest thing as well. Look at them. Beauty and grace. Beauty and grace. Um, how lovely. They have a Tumblr as well, if you would like to follow them. I will put it on the screen right now. They are adorable. Um, SNK has always been my favorite day. Our Levi and our Farlin are still in the... Oh, hotel. We are currently in a line that is in the sun. Waiting for a cosplay posing thing. I cannot sit because I am in straps. So, yes, please. I will gladly have a water. Thank you. Let's see if I can do this. Always stay hydrated. Oh, the label wasn't even showing. I'm a pro now. 
Um, we're currently going to... We haven't eaten lunch yet. I have something that's melting in my bag right now. It's really hot. I'm melting off my makeup. But you know what? How do you like my wig? My Levi styled it. And the wind is off. Oh, so I will vlog later. And yes, that is day two thus far. Attractive face you can make. <laughs> you weirdo. No, <laughs> you're weird. You're the weirdo. You're weird. Oh, you are. Right, yep. <laughs> yeah, I am. Who cares about seeing up your nose? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people don't want that. Oh, look. It's like. <laughs> I'm not an attractive eater. Nobody's attractive eating. I don't know, movie stars do a pretty good job of it. Whoa, it is on. Oh crap, I've done something wrong. Hey, how are you? That was lovely sexual. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I'm not at con right now, and this is definitely not the day four vlog, but the thing is, I don't have a day four vlog. Day four, day four? Day four was a bit, well, we spent most of our time in the hotel room packing, because we had to be out by 12. Also, you can see I'm not in my no normal set because I got kicked out of my room again. Ugh. So I don't have anything for day four. But I do have this picture. Ooh. Guys, you know who that is, right? You, you, you know who that is, right? You, 
you know who that is, right? It's it's Stylie Cosplay. It's 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 Cosplay Senpai. It's they were cosplaying my favorite pairing, and they and they look at look at look at look at that look at look at look at look. I hugged them. I hugged them. I had. I freaked out a little. I'm fre I'm freaking out now. They were freaking beautiful people. I could tell they were very tired, but they were very gracious, and they were able to to give me a hug and 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 just made my day so much better. So if they're watching, which they're probably not, but I just would like to say thank you. Uh, I'm sorry for bugging you when you were obviously just about to leave, but um, I just want you to know that you made my day and you made me very 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 happy. And I couldn't get a smile off my face for the rest of the day, so thank you. Uh, so yeah, I I hugged Stolly cosplay, which... So instead of the day four vlog, I have decided to show you my loot. Now normally at these conventions, I come back broke. But, uh, see, this time, I didn't get... I'm not broke from, from spending money on things that I want. I'm broke for spending money on food, which if you don't know, con food's very expensive. Um, and <laughs> my sis lost our food money. Uh, so, same as last year. We've decided I'm going to be in charge of the money from now on. One of the coolest things that I got there was we were walking through Artist Alley, uh, which this year they split them up. So normally it's like, uh, the exhibition hall or whatever in the front and then Artist Alley in the back of the main hall. But this time, uh, Artist Alley had grown so much that they had to go to a completely different room. And let me tell you, that room was ginormous. It was big. It was a stadium. It was fantastically large. Um, but we were walking through Artist Alley on the last day and my friend was like, hey, yo, you haven't got anything this entire time. You should get something. I'm like, yeah. Wait a second. Where were we? And I found, okay. So we were walking around and I found this. Uh, this way. Can you see it? But I saw it just hanging there in one of the booths. And by the way, one of the booths being this booth who had it's the best business card I've ever seen. Just look at that. If I ever had a business, this is what my card would look like. Look at that, that's fantastic. Anyway, I saw this and I don't know if anyone else is like that, like this, uh, but when I see a fantastic piece of art, I will stare at it for hours, just looking at the intricacies of it and the like breaking it apart in my mind. Um, and this one just caught my eye, just how intricate and beautiful it is. Uh, and yes, I'm aware she has four arms. I don't know what this is from or anything, but the art style and the detail that was put into it intrigued me so much that I was like, dude, I need to buy this. Um, another thing that I got was this Metaton sticker. I'm never gonna use it. But I am gonna look at it because he's freaking pretty as heck. I wish I could be that pretty. Look at that. Look at that little eye. Look at that little side eye. The art on this one's really good too. I like the colors used. Very well done. Beautiful. Yeah, I got it for free. It was great. The last thing I got was these pins. Um, for those of you who don't know, which you do if you saw the video, what am I saying? Um, I cosplay Matt. As you can see, I wasn't wearing my vest for most of it because it was hot. That day was a hot, 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 hot day, and that vest is made out of wool. It was an upsetting time. And the two that I really wanted, I just got Matt because he was a third. It would be cheaper if I got him, you know. Um, but I got Hikaru and Karu pins. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my sister and I have been planning on cosplaying Hikaru and Karu for years, 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 and I was like, hey, we should get pins. Um, she didn't have any money. I did. They're both mine. 
but I will definitely borrow, let, let her borrow them, and we can put them on our cosplays, I guess? I don't know. Uh, but like if we ever go out to a con, Hikaru and Kari pins now. I gotta be careful that these don't get lost, because I would be very upset if they got lost. And that's pretty much everything that I got, um, except for the little sticker. Marco sticker. So I'm going to highlight some of the exciting things that happened at this con and you guys can bask in that, I guess. Um, I hugged Stolly cosplay. I made awkward 10 second eye contact with Nicolas Cage and no, that actually happened. <laughs> uh, it was really weird. Um, it was very late at night. He got out of his limo. He did this whole thing. He stood behind us in line. But I didn't take a picture because, you know, he he already looks sad and tired already, uh, in general. I didn't want to be the source of his pain anymore. He looked so scared that I was going to be like, Hey, Nick Cage, can I take a picture? And then when he got into the hotel that we were staying at, uh, and he apparently was staying at too, it was really funny because he was standing behind us in line and there were all these tourists and they were like, Oh my gosh, Nicolas, Nicolas Cage. And we were like, oh cool, you know, Nick Cage. Um, and <laughs> he was like, check into my room directly to the bar. It was very, very sad. So no, I don't have any pictures, and I know the internet's gonna be all like, picture didn't happen, but you know what? I respect people's privacy. Taking pictures at a convention is one thing, but you know, just taking pictures of a celebrity just out and about, especially that late at night, he probably had something to do later. He just wanted a drink and a bed. Like, come on, man. It's really funny, I freak out when I meet Stolly cosplay but not when I make eye contact with Nick Cage. Not the bees! They're in my eyes! I had real ramen for the first time. There was a shooting in Little Tokyo, which is really bad, especially on AX week, because... Holy crap. Do you know how many people just spend their time out there in Little Tokyo? Yeah, a lot of people. That was very dangerous. Luckily, no one got hurt, I believe. It was it was okay. They did shut down the trams for a bit, but it was fine. I mistook lemonade boba for real boba, and that was a mistake. <laughs> that panel that we went to, the Aikasu cosplay photo shoot posing panel, was very, very good. I now know how, how to pose for a camera, kind of. It takes just a lot of practice, and it, they had a lot of good tips. They're very, very funny. I'm definitely going to be going to more of their panels. They're very amusing and lovely people, and I would very much like to experience those two again. That sounds really weird, but it's true. A particular set of circumstances arose uh, in which I found myself attempting to buy a water from a vending machine in our hotel room. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> um, yeah, it really- I- mm, Many people think that when someone says, oh, I'm an unlucky person, you think it's just like, oh, you like break your leg or something. No, 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 no. Being an unlucky person is not just that. Being an unlucky person is everything around you goes wrong constantly. Yeah, that's me. This particular event, I needed to get a water bottle really bad. Pro tip, stay hydrated at cons. My friend was like, here, take my card, go to the vending machine. And I was like, yes, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I dash down to the vending machine at the end of the hall and I take the card and I swipe it. It doesn't work. So I swipe it again, it still doesn't work. Swipe it again, it still doesn't work. Swipe it again, still doesn't work. So I'm like, crap, this vending machine must be broken. So I run up to this, now in the hotel in the Millennium Biltmore where we stayed, there are alternating floors. So our floor was the water and sodas vending machine. The next floor is the ice vending machine. And the floor after that is the water and sodas vending machine again. So I had to run up like seven flights of stairs to get to the, the next floor that had a vending machine that I needed. And I swiped. And I swiped again. And I swiped again. And it still didn't work. So I'm like, crap, maybe the card's faulty. Maybe I'm just like doing something wrong. Whatever, it's easier to pay with cash. So I run down the stairs, scaring a small man who went to, who was probably there for the con with a bucket trying to get ice as I ran. I'm sorry. So I ran 
back into the room, grab, threw the card at my friend. I was like, dude, it's not working. I'm going to pay with cash. So I grab my wallet and I rush out again. I tried to pay with a five. It didn't work. So I was like, I have dollar coins. So I put the dollar coins in and lo and behold, the vending machine is out of water. And I'm like, what? what? And so I asked for my money back and do they give me back my dollar coins? No, they give me back freaking three dollars and quarters. And I'm like, crap, well now it's not gonna be easy to like maneuver freaking things. So I just about to run up the stairs to go and get and go and try the other one to see if they have water. When my friend calls across the hall and is like, it's okay. Keep in mind, I'm hard of hearing. So, I thought something had gone terribly wrong. I ran back to the door and I was like, what happened? And they're like, we have water bottle in our bags. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I just ran a freaking 200 flights of stairs to get water for you and you have some in your bag. Okay. Everything was fine. But I did trip on the stairs at one point, up the stairs at one point, and I believe I scared people on the floor below us because as I was running upstairs, I think they heard the banging, the, my footsteps going up the stairs, and they were like, oh my gosh, it's haunted! It was really funny. I this is what happens when I try to be a good person. Those were my anecdotes for AX 2016. It was a really good con, and I'm excited for next year, and I really hope that anyone who went had a good time, because I know I did. It was a great, great con. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'm not going to force you to do anything, and I will see you in the next video I post. I'm in the midst of a uploading all the stuff that I have filmed but have not posted spree. I will be uploading some more stuff soon and I'm really excited. So, bye. Yes. Uh. I pressed the wrong button.